coming up next, it's a heavyweight championship fight between Stipe Miocic and John Jones. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. Significant title in combat sports, no argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. And now let's get you our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Mia Chich is four years the elder. He weighed in at 240 pounds. Jones will have a four inch reach advantage. We go inside the octagon, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed USC Heavyweight Championship of the World. It's Rudy first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a look see do fighter. Only a professional record of 26 wins, one loss, and one no contest. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, presenting the challenger, John Bones Jones! And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 19 wins, three losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 240 pounds. Fighting out of Independence, Ohio. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting a reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Dupe They touch him up, and we are underway. All right, so here we go. Round one is underway. Very compelling matchup for the fight fans around the world. It can be very interesting to see how soon the grappler goes for the take -down. Well, he's going to try to take down right away. But when he shoots that shot, when he changes that level, he is going to be shooting into a guy that truly understands all aspects of mixed martial arts. I'm wondering how 
if his first shot doesn't work, does he approach for trying to get this fight to the ground? Came up inches right there. It was a good night if that landed. Well, that one should leave a mark. Outstanding leg kick employed there by Jones. All right, early round one here. Big reach advantage, DC. We'll see if he can employ that package yet. Yes, he has to maintain distance. He's a taller guy. So every time his opponent tries to enter, he's going to have to take something on the way inside. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Nice loop and punch. Oh, spinning back foot. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's going to stop this. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Ooh, big shot lands. So just over 20 total strikes have already landed for Stipe Miocic. Oh, that's a nice one-two there from the heavyweight champ Stipe Miocic. That's his best combination. His best combination is to the right hand behind the jab. Not much else comes from my experience, but that one-two is as deadly as any one-two in the entire UFC. What? Oh, there you go. Yep, swept him right there. Working inside the now open guard of his opponent. Uh oh. Throwing up a triangle. The guy on his back is very good at submissions, and if he's not careful here, he's going to get stuck and he will have to submit. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. Jones's pass attempt denied. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Trying for a submission here. Oh, nice. He might get a finish here. And this might just be a matter of time. There's the tap. It's over. It's over. What a performance. Yeah, great job executing the submission in that fight. Really strong work. You can see the years of repetitions in the gym to set it up and ultimately get the tap there. Great technique to set up the finish. Let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. Just watch how slowly he approaches the submission, though. He never rushes. He takes his time, but it's his trickiness. It's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him that puts them in danger and finishing fights. All right, so there is the consensus baddest man on the planet, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion, your winner tonight by way of submission. He leaned on the grappling. That was the path of least resistance, and that is the man they are all chasing for UFC heavyweight gold. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop for this contest at 3 minutes, 46 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out. And... Champion of the world, John Jones! There is 
a new baddest man on the planet. There's the new UFC heavyweight champion. You don't get them all right, DC, but you thought this was going to be the result, and we got a new champion. I mean, he has so much power and such an ability to shut the lights off that you almost saw it coming. Congratulations to the new baddest man on the planet. Same day, I'm a lot of leash, I'm in panic, but yet when Lee brought your hammock, that hangman.